Hi guys, here Sam and Mia again. Uh, so happy to be uh, with you. And how are you, Sam? I'm good. So mm-hmm. I'm I'm fine. And today yeah. we are starting something new. That is, we are yeah. like um, changing the profile of our discussion. All the we were discussing movies and books, but this time from now on we have decided that we'll be. Are discussing history and and life yeah. and and culture. So interesting. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. So. Yeah. So. Yeah. So as an initial start, so we have decided that we'll discuss with the um, starting of human life itself. So today's discussion mm. is about you know evolution of humans, the way we are yeah, and how we reached here. So. You know our that's place right. on earth. So how we, mm. you know, came uh, come about to mm. be here. So before that's we right. begin, I, I would like you to you know go on a journey with me and and you know to take this mental journey. I prefer mm-hmm. to call it a time capsule. So I want you to mm. close your eyes and and like imagine I'll take you ear by ear to or back towards uh, our original time from where we started our journey so i want yeah. you to close your eyes and imagine that from now you the mm-hmm. time has moved like 200 years backward so you can uh-huh. see that industrial revolution is happening there are there mm-hmm. is steel industry there is mass production of steel the new industry and shipbuilding and other cotton yards are coming up and mass production of clothes is happening and you know trade is increasing and from there mm. you can say, uh, say mm-hmm. it's it's beginning of european industrial revolution and if you go even mm-hmm. further back say like now you go like 500 years ago you can see the reformation times or the renaissance times or the or what yeah. we can say a scientific revolution is about to happen and it's happening and what do you mean by scientific revolution scientific revolution means you question Mm. yourself like what you believe is Mm. that thing is right or not you question your Mm. ignorance you question your thinking your logical reasoning in those times you can see great thinkers like uh, René Descartes coming up and Copernicus followed him and other great revolutionary thinkers of the time who question what we used to believe for so long and mm. go further backwards you can see the rise of religion 14000 year 1400 years from from where we are today uh, came islam if you go even further like 2000 years ago we have christianity and the great empires han empire in china roman empire in mediterranean if you go even further yeah. you can see rise of uh, Buddhism in India and mm-hmm. even go further you can see the human society is like forming the first of itself first kind of empire with a kingdom mm-hmm. and you know yeah. rise of coins scripts languages and you know religion religious festivals many gods sacrifices and all that that is happening 5000 years mm. ago and if you go even yeah. further, you can see the first human cultivation happening about 12,000 years ago. And, you know, mm. humans are settling down. They are not moving anymore. Settlement mm. has begun. And if you go like mm. um, 13,000 years ago, you can see mm-hmm. that just out of many species of humans, just one species survives. That is Homo sapiens. Ah. That is us. And if you go even yeah. further, you can say that uh, like 30,000 years ago, you can see the other human species, the last of existing human yeah. species, other than sapiens, that is Neanderthals, is dying. So, you know, yeah. as you go backwards, you can see there are other other humans. And about like 70,000 years ago, there is a revolution happening in, in Homo sapiens, which, you know, mm. um, which is uh, said by, said to be a cognitive revolution in which the language is taking uh, its shape and form the way we use it and you know something mm-hmm. radical is happening and if you go even further mm-hmm. you can find like like two uh, lakh years ago from from where we are now 
you can see the first homo sapiens evolving in africa coming you know from from ape species and if you go like if you push further if you push further for three lakh years ago you will find daily use of fire by three species of human neanderthals homo sapiens and homo erectus if you push even further i would say mm -hmm. if you want to meet your grandmom the first grandmom you could ever have <laughs> you will meet six million ag ago the first common grandmother of a human and chimpanzee so this is our oh, like yeah. timeline so i want to begin mm -hmm. um, from that timeline and move on towards mm -hmm. from where we are today so i have given you a brief introduction about how we came to be here and uh, mm -hmm. our our journey from being an ape or being a chimpanzee to being a human is you know has come mm -hmm. into being because of three revolution as i just said the first mm -hmm. revolution was cognitive mm -hmm. revolution then came uh, agriculture revolution and something that is happening mm -hmm. very right at this moment that is scientific revolution so these three mm -hmm. revolution made us from a a chimpanzee wandering somewhere around in africa to what we are today <laughs> so with this uh, i will be asking lots of question to mia and uh, she will be responding i will be summarizing for you so my first question is <laughs> when did this human journey started so when did we first appear on the face of the earth oh yeah mm uh um mm, first i want to say very important things um if you want to say about mm, talk about the uh, uh human species so many various species um homo sapiens um uh, wanted to uh kept hidden wanted to keep hidden uh, an even more um, uh, secret that means i mean i learned in the school uh human species have the uh, line or uh, order in order uh, it happened but um for example yuval harari um insisted our human species not um in the linear way it means um when homo sapiens uh leave a place uh, it's possible uh, another species for example um, neanderthals also there are or homo erectus right so uh i want to say uh first two things yeah so uh, that means you know homo sapiens did something a bad thing possible yeah so i want to say that so um mm, uh, first i want to say uh yeah Australopithecus, you know that. Yeah. In East Africa, yeah. Uh, uh what time? Uh, around what time there were? Uh they were about two point five million years ago, or around two million uh -huh. years ago. So yeah, yeah. So, they they had mm -hmm. distinct feature that they had both the features of a ape as well as the feature of a human. So they you can say. they were something of somewhere between human and between ape so they were not 100% yeah, human right. but they were not 100% ape yeah. as well mm. so ape i mean not 100% uh, chimpanzee so we are in a way we yeah. were ape at that time mm. so so that name australopithecus means southern ape yeah that's why yeah and then we can guess uh next time next to order Mm, species uh neanderthals that's uh, uh you know the mm, species have uh, traits special uh, yeah. traits yeah can you can Please you tell, tell more me. about that yeah okay then uh they more mm, muscular than uh, who who sections. neanderthals neanderthals more ne muscular neanderthals that's right and they uh live in cold area Over yeah, Asia Eurasian Asia. area. Yeah, that's and, right. Western Western Eurasia, right? Yeah. And um, I um, have new information about Neanderthals. They were 
very、mm, nice species, not、uh, so cruel species because the, there were proof、um, so many、mm, disabled Neanderthals、uh, lived long time. That means、uh, they take they、mm, took care of each other. So even though、uh, they are they were disabled. Right. Yeah. So it、I、means they、that. had like a、uh, health infrastructure. So they were something to take care of, like injured people or old people. Yeah, that's right. And the next、um, species, or、um, yeah, oh, at the same time they can、uh, live、uh, in specific time together. Homo erectus. Yeah, yeah, the upright man. Um, that's right. Um,、mm. Eastern. Mm, Asia, right? Yeah, and they are、uh, well lived there. And something and that、uh, not many people know is that Homo erectus, even though Homo erectus is extinct today, but Homo erectus whole timeline is more than two million years. Even though、oh、Homo sapiens,、God. that is us, we have not.、Oh. We are far, far away from crossing two million year mark. So you can say that、yeah. it is possible. I know God、mm. forbids. But it is possible that we may be extinct before Homo erectus. But means Homo erectus lived may be possible that we may not be able to ma-、uh, meet two million year mark. So he lived for、oh. such a long time, so such a long、yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, and、uh, you know Homo sololensis. Yeah, the、uh, Java man, Indonesian people. Lived Indonesian in Iceland. Iceland. Yeah. yeah, that's right. And then、uh, in the tropical area. Yeah, they were short. So their characteristic was you you do you know changes in the sea level.、Uh, those those humans living in the Java Island, their height were reduced. So they were not very tall, and they were stunted in height. So they were quite different、yeah. from、uh, what we can find in African humans or Eurasian humans. So I yeah, rather like a variant. Yeah. Yeah. Why we can say Homo、uh, florensis, as you said, more smaller man, a、uh, sh- smaller human species. Why they were so、uh, became small? You know that. Yeah, due to、why? changes in like sea level, so there was less and less、yeah. food available. So gradually, the bigger men in the society died out, and、uh, evolution favored smaller. Body size, so that caused yeah, they were you know、tripped. yeah、they、that caused in Ireland yeah, evolution、so、to you know favor small size individuals. How much is small size really amazing? Yeah. How much is small? Really small, yeah, I can、know? say.、Uh, yeah, twenty-five is, only twenty-five kilometers. Kilograms. Kilograms and one meter height. So one meter means yeah, five feet.、Really Less than five feet. Oh my God! So small, and so there on the island, elephant also small. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And you know they、so、lived up to very recently, so they died out just twelve thousand years ago. So twelve thousand years、oh、is yeah, nothing.、Really. It's nothing. It's just like yesterday. So in terms of、mm. evolution. So. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, and then、uh, we can. Uh, yeah, Homo uh, rudolfensis. Uh, in between there were yeah, and you know they are、uh, they、yeah. were not just like these are not limited number of human species. There could have been more, so it is not、mm-hmm. certain that how many species are there. So my next question is, yeah,、really. what distinguishes human from、um, other animal is human brain. So yeah, really. So, do you have some like information? Why there are differences in in these species in terms of human brain?、Mm. So, was sapien、That's、brain、right. more nice than、uh, Java man or like that, or are there differences? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, now uh, we call us yeah we、mm, named it as Homo sapiens. That means a little in arrogant way we can say that because. That means wise man. Really, Homo sapiens is wise. <laughs> so、uh, we can ask ourselves, yeah. So Homo sapiens, uh, 
they were almost、um, last、um, Homo sapiens. They were appeared、uh, last、uh, period. I can say that. Yeah. Yeah. And then.、Mm-hmm. And then, uh, what's more? So, um, so um, I want, you I know, want to, yeah,、um, before we move、mm-hmm. move ahead, I want to like give a perspective about human brain. Every、yeah. time I stay start speaking about human brain, Mia like starts laughing. So, you know, don't be surprised if I mention the human cubic size of brain, and Mia starts laughing again. So, I want to tell you the perspective how you know、uh, human evolution was happening. Uh, how our brain size increased. So I will quote some、uh, figures. So like a mammal of 60 kilogram had an average brain size of 200 cubic centimeters, whereas the earliest、mm-hmm. human that you know, even back as back、mm-hmm. as 2.5 million years ago, had a much much bigger brain that was about 600 cubic centimeters. That is like three times the average mammal. And if you、mm. see、uh, the average modern sapien, that is us, our brain is about twice that size. That is about twelve hundred to fourteen hundred cubic centimeters. So, but、yeah. it means that human evolution is also a history of evolution of brain. And something more surprising is that human brain size does not guarantee existence. For example, Neanderthals had even bigger brain than Homo sapiens. As we have today, yeah,、really. but they are extinct.、Yeah. They are gone. So it's no、mm. li- like guarantee that you have bigger brains so that you will survive. So it is possible、mm. that you can, you know, end up becoming extinct even with bigger brains,、mm-hmm. because you know,、uh, right. as as、uh, is commonly understood that <laughs> big brain comes with you know bigger cost. For example,、uh, mm. arresting human、uh, body consumes. 25 percent of energy,、uh, the brain consumes 25 percent of the energy of human body, whereas、mm. in category of other apes, apes just use eight percent of their energy,、mm-hmm. and、uh, mm-hmm. you can say that that more our brain evolved, more、uh, physically weak we became, and、mm-hmm. uh, and you can you can feel that as we like evolution. From vi- from walking、uh, on like moving on four feet, we started using two feet. It had more impact on brain as well. For example,、mm-hmm. uh, evolution. You know, when we started moving on two feet,、uh, there were problems in child deliveries. For example, you know, the、oh. hip and、uh, hip bone size was not big enough to favor. Yeah.、Uh, you know. Reproducing child with bigger brains. So what nature or、really? evolution did was,、uh, they like, they made like premature brains. So when a child,、mm. human child is born, its n- its brain is not hundred percent ready. It's still in the formation、mm-hmm. phase, and it continues、mm. to develop even after、uh, birth. So human baby started like、um, coming out with premature brains, and. It had a like a big impact on the way、uh, human society was ultimately structured. So, you know, if、yeah. that means somebody needs to be there twenty four seven to look after that child whose brain is non functional, so、mm. you know, humans were forced to you know create a society so that they can look after、mm-hmm. each other's children while other can get the food from outside. So、mm-hmm. that is you know that has that is to do something with. Uh, how our brain evolved, and with the brain, there、yeah. is there is also like、um, question of why our brain evolved like that. So, what was the fueling factor? And、uh, Yuval Harari makes g- a great、um, point that that it is linked to in a way with fire. So, like you know,、um, with advent of fire in human society,、uh, we were using. We were digesting food faster, so we had more energy from the, you know, from digesting food.、Uh, in comparison to earlier times, so it means more energy was ava- available to spare on brain. So, and you know,、um, our life expectancy also increased with use of fire. So it's so complex: brain, fire, and human evolution. So together,、uh-huh. they are moving. <laughs> To make us what we are, so 
Yeah. So my <laughs> my my next question is, how did our like cousin uh, Neanderthals died out? So what happened to them? Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, uh, before answering it, I want to uh, say uh, I want to talk about more about uh, human babies. You yeah, know? go ahead. Um, as you said, uh, women um, have uh, more pain when they gave uh, a birth uh, to the baby, right? And um, so, and uh, the baby also need uh, more long raising time than other animals. So women must uh, um, keep the house or stay the ho- stay at home with the baby. So women are more and more helpless and dependent on other um, neighborhoods or neighbors or men. And human babies also, uh, usually other animals, um, human uh, um, babies, ad- other animal babies, uh, they are uh, easily independent soon, yeah, after birth. But um, human babies, so long time, five years or longer. Uh, so um, we human babies uh, have um, so many prejudices or customs we must learn. So very um, specific uh, learning uh, size or learning uh, subject uh, we um, concentrate on such a thing. That means uh, we can um, adapt to the nature so soon, uh, so well um, with the strategy, but um, also it is a very dangerous thing is human babies uh, raises not so um, independent, independent way. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. I can see that happening all around. Yeah. Yeah, really. So, uh, why we are so um, together in a group? We can uh, to do uh, uh, to work well, and we can uh, kill the animal. So big animal we can uh, kill. Yeah. Like sapiens. Yeah. They. That means not just uh, with the fire or tools. We um had to um together uh, do together at once with uh, our same uh goal. That means a uh, human uh, raised like that. Yeah. yeah. So I want to say and uh yeah women also uh more uh, dependent on society on men. That's the. Um, in the process, we made that, yeah. So, and what was your question? My question was about like, uh, like when and how Neanderthals disappeared on the face of the earth. So, what happened to them? Oh yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. You know that uh, two theories there, w- e there are. Yeah, please tell. Right? Yeah. Uh, one theory is the um, interbreeding theory. And uh, another one is uh, the um, replacement theory. Yeah. Yeah. Then uh, you know that. No, please tell. Please Even if I know, my uh, like our audience may not know. So what is like mm. uh, interbreeding theory? So, can you tell more? Yeah, interbre- yeah interbreeding theory means uh, it's a very dangerous, uh, a dangerous theory because it can be, uh, it can bring a racism, because um, Neanderthals and sapiens, uh, we are really, uh, uh, with. Uh, um, according to places, uh, we have 
、mm, same species and different species.、Mm. Uh, can you、uh, help me? It's、uh, yeah. Difficult. You can say that、uh, yeah, in in、theory. in、uh, like evolution terms, we are within the same、uh, genus, but we are、yeah. like evolving. In a different species, in a way, not completely different, well, not completely unrelated, but our evolution is, you know, going in different directions. So even our physical and mental traits are different. So you can say that. So it's not like we. It's like、uh, it's almost like a different species of the same genus.、Mm-hmm. So,、mm-hmm. but they can reproduce. So it's possible.、Mm-hmm. It means,、uh, for example,、um, mm, population merged、um, Eurasians. Yeah, Eurasians are not pure sapiens. That means Neanderthals uh, uh, together we、um, have baby. Yeah. And. Uh, and another place is、uh, Chinese and Koreans, a mixture of sapiens and Homo erectus. And erectus. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That means.、Uh, you know, a better way to to, place, to explain that、yeah. is like interbreeding of dogs. For example,、uh, German Shepherd, I think the Doberman from Germany was、mm-hmm. not like.、Uh, A real dog species. It was created by interbreeding between two genes of, between two different categories of dog. So, like dog、uh, categories created, like pug was not an、uh, a dog type. It was like created by interbreeding. So you can say that.、Mm. So, like different species、mm-hmm. can interbreed and create a separate category of dog, like that. So, like with yeah, humans as well.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, really. And uh, another um, theory, uh, replacement theory, is that we are all、uh, pure, same sapiens, right?、Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um, um, so many experts、uh, want to go to this theory because they don't want to open the、uh, racism problems in this world, right? Yeah. So.、Um, mm-hmm. Uh, so it means、uh, Neanderthals and sapiens don't want to have、uh, relationship, and they don't want to have、uh, their own babies. So、um, they are so different, yeah. So、um, and sapiens、um, so aggressively、uh, against Neanderthals. Yeah, it's the theory. Mhm. Yeah. Mhm. And then, um, I want to say about then um a little more about, uh, you know, um, about fire.、It's、yeah, a, please go ahead. I want to. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, our uh human species. Have so um go so further step than animals, ah、uh, with the fire, you know, um in the cold weather or ah、uh, food as well we can cook, but um so many animals ah、uh, died because of cold cold weather, but human as well human is just a small animal. And、uh, the cold weather, we cannot survive, but、um, with the fire, and uh, we can uh, cook with the fire, and、uh, we can sleep well in cozy, uh, warm, um, place with the fire, and uh, we can um protect also against uh, uh from um wild animal like lion or. Yeah, so、uh, it was a really very amazing、um, revolution for me. I, I mean, in the street, in the history. Yeah, so, revolution for you as well because you came into yeah, being because yeah. that revolution happened. 
Yeah, okay then. Uh, so, uh, cook means so. What do you think? Can you imagine? Uh, cook with the fire. You a meal. Yeah. What is it? Yeah. It's a uh, really uh, you are so safe because so many dangerous germs or so virus or parasites. Um, you must digest without fire, but they yet died with the fire, right? Yeah. So we can digest more well, and even though we are small teeth. Uh, we can digest well, and uh, you know, uh, also short time to um, chewing food, but a chimpanzee or other orangutan, our neighbor, uh, our um, ancestor, our friends, they uh, have more time to uh, chewing food. Yeah. yeah. So. So we can do another different thing with our brain. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, with the fire, and we can stand upright, and uh, so with the free hands, so many things we can uh do, uh than other animals. So, uh, we uh, created many things. Yeah, with the fire. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm. So, uh, that means, uh, human can control our um, surroundings and uh, weather as well. A amazing thing, I think. Yeah. So cold and almost dying, but suddenly we can and uh, find the fire. Oh my God! So cozy and really so. Mm, safe feeling, yeah, from other animals, wild animals, so big animals, you know, even though so tiny girl can with um fire can fight um, yeah, wild cats, or yeah, so <laughs> okay, and yeah. then. About next to subject, I am stuck on same subject. How did Neanderthals die out? So what happened to Neanderthals? Oh yeah, please, uh, explain for me. <laughs> I please. was expecting you to explain. So, all right, <laughs> I'll summarize what you said. So there are two possibilities how Neanderthals died out. First one is obviously uh -huh. the interbreeding theory that they like are uh, integrated in uh, human society so their genes mm. mixed with uh, homo sapiens and neanderthals uh, and homo sapiens gene uh, uh -huh. you know intermingled and and sort of like merged together so you cannot find uh -huh. neanderthals anymore which is like uh, a small possibility but it does not answer all the questions the second theory yeah, yeah. is like mass extinction so when uh, Homo sapiens with more capable language and more uh, organized brain came and more yeah. intertwined society came uh, uh, to Neanderthal land, so they started like pushing them backwards. So mm. Neanderthals were, l you, you know, like fighting for their existence. And, uh, mm. and they finally, they, after like surviving together for 40,000 years ago, they died out mm -hmm. like that mm -hmm. uh, like 30,000 years ago so so yeah. it was a gradual struggle and uh, gradually they could not survive and you know which mm -hmm. makes sense if you see our recent history for example nazi war uh, how nazi um yeah you know really. killed jewish people or you can mm -hmm. say how british settlers attacked and mm -hmm. you know wiped out aboriginal americans or in aboriginal australians so you know it has been tendency of homo sapiens to you know really? uh, to to kill and beat others and slavery is mm -hmm. something very very recent so we were like really? treating other humans like like animals so yeah. what you know which is which is like 
just like yesterday so you can imagine what what we were doing like 30 40000 years ago even more brutal we would have been so yeah you know i believe like most likely neanderthals uh-huh. were li- like uh, wiped out by mass murder or genocide and they could not yeah. survive it's possible really yeah yeah and yeah, yeah. they even lost battle of evolution yeah even though this uh, modern times we are uh, really so um, similar species yeah and uh, just a tiny uh, different because of tiny differences uh we are killing each other such yeah such history that's right yeah so mhm you so can say human history is always one homo sapien killing another homo sapien so we are at war among yeah, ourselves really. all the time so sometimes mm. there is war in middle east sometimes it's with russia sometimes mm-hmm. it's world war but the war goes on so at mm. no point of time humans have ever achieved complete peace so you know overall we are very aggressive species so oh my god that makes sense so yeah i feel so sad because you know so long time in my blood such a uh, human species cruel species uh, blood i have also yeah yeah so, but you want harmony um, yeah, yeah real that's right so i feel a little sad i want to i don't want to be like that so um but i must realize and uh, aware of it um that's the our human uh, fact really it happened then we must uh, know that then yeah we must find a different way why it happened and how can we um do uh, in different way in future right so i want to say uh, we m- must know about history exactly um i want to say something uh, when i was in germany i had so good friends um with the japanese and so nice friends together but suddenly uh, about the history they said like that wow you know the history you were there no you wasn't there so you don't know exactly then what is the history why we learn history yeah so they ignore history they want to believe just the presence that means really in arrogant way they live right a um, selfish way so i want to know even though very sad thing uh, to know about um sapiens our sapiens truly but i want to know that in honest way yeah yeah mhm <laughs> you think so <laughs> different mind please tell me no no not different mind i i believe that uh, ho- homo yeah. sapiens are like are the most violent species ever so more bad than yeah. you know um jurassic park creatures so dinosaurs oh, yeah, really. yeah so they were yeah. fight they were eating just to feed their bellies but we like to kill about every other reason not just belly oh yeah yeah you you uh, read that re- you read that you know uh, as we are without fire just to um, it's so big animal uh kill a uh, small animal or like that then a uh, human um species waited in the um, safe place and watched that and then after they eating everything just to remain the brains inside what is that the name yeah bone marrow the brains that's right they eat them so we have skill we had the skill to um, eat uh, that part the brain part inside the part so oh my god yeah we did that mm-hmm. anyway so please don't um aggressive to me 
okay? I want to be with you harmonious way. Live together, okay? Yeah. Be friend nicely. And uh, I hope so. Yeah, but yeah. you know, last question remains that um, not to deflect this time, but you know, what advantage uh, Homo sapiens had over Neanderthals? And what you and Harari has said is it is something uh, very, very ordinary. And the answer is mm -hmm. language. The Homo sapiens mm -hmm. had superior language. So the way that they could oh. coordinate and cooperate, uh, other human species couldn't. So uh, their advantage, and I would say even today, our advantage is our language. And uh, oh my God. the more and more language evolves, really evolves, the more, mm -hmm. you know, more human cooperation becomes possible. So... Oh, yeah, really? Yeah. So, yeah. it is you like great achievement of human language that they can discuss and we can discuss about something that does not exist. Even imagination and fairy tales yeah, and, yeah. And, and Harry Potter can be discussed, written and produced <laughs> as a movie because our language is yeah, superior. Right. So, mm. so, please imagine that. If you cannot without language, or and um, so same language we can understand. I uh, love so much English language because, uh, language itself is so beautiful. Oh, no, I can use this this English language. I can understand you foreign foreigner so well, and I can understand your car, car, um, culture as well. And without language, how can we um, understand each other so well, right? So I think a really important thing is language. Yeah, I believe you. Yeah, <laughs> so I think we are done for today. It's a very, very difficult mm -hmm. uh, topic to discuss what caused uh, Homo sapiens to rule over Homo, uh, Homo erectus and all others. What, what advantages we have or we had at that point of time and the, mm -hmm. the infamous cognitive revolution. What is cognitive revolution and how it changed our life? And uh, I mm -hmm. would say cognitive revolution is something that led to what is happening today that is scientific revolution. So, yeah. and in between agriculture revolution, all these three uh, are very... Mm very much interconnected and very complex to understand that how yeah. they and you cannot like you know pinpoint a time when this was happening it's it happened over a period of time so mm -hmm. you know with that in mind i think we can discuss this tomorrow because we are mm -hmm. already 40 minutes in and uh, yeah, yeah mm -hmm. it will be a good start mm -hmm. so tomorrow we'll mm -hmm. be back with uh, <laughs> our discussion on language and cognitive revolution in homo sapiens and we will find okay, out what then. finally like happened with uh, Neanderthals and, and we will also contemplate what would have happened if Neanderthals were still living. So okay. So it's, it's like wind up for me and uh, mm -hmm. great to be with you. So see you soon. Mm -hmm. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Bye.